uh, we have a farmer with 2000 feet of fencing and he or she wants to enclose a rectangular area rectangular area that borders a straight river so let's draw a diagram so rectangular area and this borders a river so let's make this side this is a river so we don't need fencing along river and divide this rectangular area into four four pens okay with fencing perpendicular to the river so one two three four one two three four now the fencing goes along this side let's say that's the x and fencing goes here y y y it's a rectangle so all the sides are equal y and y okay that's the constraint the sum of these lengths x and how many y's one two three four five y's that is 2000 feet okay so constraint that's the relationship between our variables x and 5y is 2000 and as soon as we write down the constraint we need to solve for one variable we can solve for x or solve for y let's solve for x because just move back 5y other side so x equals 2000 minus 5y as soon as we know the value of y then we plug in y times 5 subtract from 2000 we get x that's the constraint relationship between two variables next we need to write down the objective function uh, find the dimensions dimensions means what is the length x and what is y x and y that yield the largest possible total area of the four pens so total area of the four pens so area objective function is the in this case area we can denote by a and then area is x times y we want to write this area in one variable so replace x from the previous line so that will be 2000 minus 5y times quantity y let's distribute so that's 2000y minus 5y squared that's the area function and it's written in terms of y so we write a as a function of y okay now we want to maximize this area for next we take derivative okay now the derivative uh, this is not a function of x this is function of y you could just write a prime equals uh, 2000 minus 10 y and we set this equals 0 to find critical numbers uh, 2000 minus 10 y equals 0 move 2000 over or negative 10 y equals negative 2000 divided by negative 10 so y equals negative 2000 divided by negative 10 so you get 200 so the width y should be 200 and when we plug in this y here we get the value of x now the question is why does this length maximize the area so to check if y maximizes or not we want to find the second derivative we can use the second derivative test let's find the second derivative a double prime uh, derivative of 2000 0 minus 10 y is negative 10 so second derivative negative less than 0 that means the function is maximum at y equals 200 in fact the function is maximum at any y value this, this is always negative it implies a which is area area is max at y equals 200 and we plug in y equals 200 in the constraint then we find x 
2000 minus 5 times 200 5 times 200 1000 2000 minus 1000 is 1000 thus the answer thus the dimensions are uh, 1000 feet by uh, 200 feet okay in fact uh, 200 205 times 1000 1000 is spent on this vertical side and 1000 is spent along this horizontal side in total 2000 that's why uh, he can maximize the area